it's Mark Wahlberg. Welcome to Click TV. Welcome to Click TV. Happy Christmas again on a more lighter. No, that's the wrong sentence. Sorry. Still happy Christmas. No. Okay. <laughs> Are we ready to go? So <laughs> <laughs> Stephen's holding right his breath for. Hi, welcome back. It's still Christmas because of the tree, and we're going to start with our two best films of the year. Or four. Two, well, two, two each. each. Yeah. Two by two. Four. Edition's not his strong suit. No. no. But what is my strong suit is an Iron Man suit. I'm going to talk about the Avengers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I. This is probably the second best movie this year, just because it's the first time I think they've really nailed a comic book film. Is it the second best movie this year because it's your second favorite movie this year? Well, why it else would it be? Self-serving. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Well, are these objective lists? No. No. no not. So, okay, so good comic book movie. Go. Uh, yes, well, absolutely. Sure, there's tons of spectacle and it's extremely funny. There's a bright, colorful cast. Mm -hmm. um, tons of spectacle. I have to stress this point because the ending is 30 minutes long. Um, and I don't know. It's funny and it's got lots of action. It's got the Hulk. Um, I'm just gonna throw a word to you. you. <laughs> it's the well, bit where he smashes Loki and the bit in the aircraft carrier where the F-15 is kind of shooting him in the back and he kind of doesn't know nice. until he turns around and realizes he's being shot. And he's like, <gasps> um, and it's funny. I'm not selling this well. It's very crowd pleasing stuff. I mean, the big thing for Avengers for me is that it's everybody who isn't stupid has loved Joss Whedon for a long time. And yes, now absolutely. all the other people who didn't know finally have a reason to love him too. So, yes. I mean, if, if you liked him before, this feels like Justification for yeah, the years of watching. It's a bit of a Cinderella tale. Cancelled TV shows. Mm, but with the Hulk. With the Hulk, yes. Yeah. Well, so it is. I mean, there's, there's no, no denying that it's a lot of fun. Mm, um, speaking of a lot of fun? I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> Looper's not. I don't know if Looper's really going for fun. Looper um, is. Child murder. <laughs> Child murder? Oh god, there is child murder. Wow. Happy I Christmas, it, everybody. <laughs> um, Looper is Ryan Johnson's uh, third feature film after Brothers Bloom and Brick. It's a sci-fi movie, so it's quite different to his previous films, but it's just, it's the best sci-fi concept I've seen in a very long time. It's about time travel, but doesn't get too caught up in the ridiculous rules or anything. It's got a fantastic performance by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who kind of apes Bruce Willis without making it too ridiculous, despite the fact that his face looks... Yeah, like, they just added more forehead. Yeah, lots, lots <laughs> of forehead and freaky eyes. Um, I just think it's, I just think it's a smart film, and we get so few of them, and it's a film that people I think we're looking forward to, but maybe didn't get as much attention as it should have had at the box office. I think it looks a lot more expensive than it, I mean, it has around, any right to. Yeah, it cost around 30 million was, was really shot or else on a shoestring for the kind of film it is. Mm -hmm. And one thing maybe that isn't very obvious is that it's also a very good action film. And the set pieces that Johnson manages to put together are really not only very good, but very interesting. Um, so yeah, I hope people watch that more on home video. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good and watch it if you haven't. Um, speaking of cheap action films, oh, yes. uh, my number one film, of this year and or all time is The Raid. Um, now anyone who's frequented the site even slightly might know that I'm kind of into action, but um, I think The Raid is the best movie of all time. Because? <laughs> Ever! <laughs> well, it's just, it's solid. It's just 90 straight minutes and they play it straight. The thing with Hong Kong action films is, although there's lots of great action, they just kind of genre jump. Mm -hmm. All the time, it'll start serious, then it'll be a horror film, then a comedy, yeah. and then all this stuff. But this is just, cops go into a building, it doesn't go well for them. And they just struggle to stay alive. Um, with six of the most interesting action set pieces I've seen in years. In yeah. years. And there's just so many of them, so consistently. And it takes about a half hour to start, but then the pace is breakneck until the end. And then once the action's over, the film's more or less over. Mm -hmm. um, it's got... That Welsh guy, Gareth Evans, yes. is directing, so you've got a bit of the Western sensibilities there, so he can keep the story. Making sense. Yeah, on Jack. And then you've got um, Ico Luis and, oh, am I gonna try his name? Or is it? No, we'll just work, move on. Mad Dog. Mad Dog. Uh, and two of the finest um, martial artists performers on the planet. Who just also choreographed Always choreographed about. it, so it looks so authentic Made and brutal. 1.2 million dollars. Hmm made about six worldwide, so shame on all of you people who didn't yes. go see it in cinema, I don't understand But that at all. honestly, one million dollars is all you need to make an excellent action movie. In Indonesia. You... <laughs> That's an important qualification. <laughs> Not anywhere else. Go to Indonesia. Yes. And leave Chuck Norris out of it. We're looking forward to more from Garth Evans. Absolutely. He's making Bar Barandal, which is the sequel to it at the moment, and mm. that hopefully will be out next year. Absolutely. And, uh, more people should see it. Yes. So get that on, on Blu-ray now. Mm. Probably that. 
My favourite film is a little bit different. Um, it's probably, again, one that not many people saw. Uh, it's The Grey, came out in January. There was Oscar buzz way, way back because it was so good in it, but I mean, it'll have disappeared by now. Probably. This is the um, latest film from Joe Carnahan, who made a fantastic film in 2002 called Narc, and then kind of buggered off into action movies with Smoking Aces and yeah. The A-Team for a while. But this is, this is, if anything, it's a sequel to, to Narc. It's really, really intimate, very subjective drama, I suppose. It also has mm. thriller elements and action elements and some great performances. Yeah. Neeson is... Neeson should be up for an Oscar nomination just for yeah. one scene alone. No, we'll see when he convinces someone that it's, it's alright right. that you're bleeding to you're, death. You're dying, it's fine. Because he actually has the easiest time of it because the rest of it is just oh, harrowing stuff. Absolutely. With, with, even without like the, the horrible factor of being stuck in this Alaskan wilderness, they've mm. got this pack of wolves following them. and Not as much wolf punching as people said. I don't think it's very fair to call it the wolf punching movie. Um, yes, well, I think it's fair to call Liam Neeson wolf puncher. There's not many people fine. who can pull off that name. I think if Liam wolf puncher Neeson, that would be <laughs> fine name. Probably... But um, no, it's not an action film by any stretch of the imagination. But he does, again, a small budget, does what he can with it. Mm. Made, of all the films we talk about, actually made quite a bit of money. He made 67 million mm. worldwide, so people that actually go see it. Um, but you should watch it again on home video. You should start a campaign for Liam Neeson to win Best Actor Oscar. He does that bit where he starts swearing at God. That was pretty good. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll do it myself. Screw you. Yeah. It doesn't say screw me though. So they're, um, well, they're just two of my favourite films, two of Jack's favourite films. Mm. I've got a few more coming up on the site in the yeah, next few days. days. And sure, log on to Facebook and let us know what your favourite films are. You're also going to do action movies, right? I am. Your favourite action movies. Have we stopped yet? Oh no. no. Yeah, so How many ones are you going to do? Um, Maybe 10. 10, ten action movies. Ten best Were there action even movies? 10 action movies this year? Jack will find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find them! <laughs> Go to clickonline.com to read all of that awesome stuff.